Okay, we're gonna do the boondoggle brown drape next. Um, using a Tiamco 100 size 10 hook on this one. Um, we already have a foam body tied up. Uh, this one I cut the foam just slightly bigger because this is more of an impressionistic fly where the other one's a little bit more for a realistic look. Um, all right, so same color thread. It's a six out rusty brown. And we'll just tie that in here. And then I'm going to stop just short of the hook point on this hook. And we're going to come back forward. And I like to start this fly. I'll do a bunch of these ahead of time where I'll tie the cattail wings in first and then come back and tie in my body. So it's like a three step process. But, um, cattail. So for me, I'm not a big fan of the stuff in the tip. Um, some of the, this is actually a pretty good kip tail here. There's some hex length, but I'm more interested in this stuff. It's a little more dense. Um, fibers tend to be a little bit more easy to work with, uh, which for this fly, I don't want to use a lot of bulk anyway. Less is more. So we'll come in here and cut a piece. Kind of grab it by its tips, pulling the super long odd ones out of here. Thin this out. All right, so for proportions, I'm looking maybe just short of one and a half times the length of the hook. We're just gonna tie this right in on top. I'm not crowding that eye. I'm actually probably eighth of an inch behind it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to leave a gap right here because I actually want to squeeze two turns of hackle in front of the swing when I finish this fly. So we're going to pull this back, wrap in front, and then we're going to post this wing out. So we call this a Y-wing style here in Michigan. So it's essentially what I'm going to do is divide this into a Y. So, once I get that split, I'm going to come around the base, give it a few turns of thread. This will help keep its shape. Okay, so now that we got the wing in, we're going to come back to our tie-in point, which is just short of the hook point. And we're going to tie in our foam body, which we already did on our pins ahead of time. Pull this stuff back. We're going to wrap right in front of this foam. Lock it in. Now we have this thread that we left, like we did in the previous fly. A couple wraps on top of that. And you 
use that to get our tail to prop up a little bit. So now we want to tie in our hackles at this point as well. So we're going to grab both of our hackles, kind of pair them up, same colors as before. Got uh, grizzly yellow straw and Cree or um, that goes at the dark bar ginger. We're going to tie these feathers in by the base. Like so, adjust the height here. Go ahead and lock them in. Our thread. Right up to about the base where we tied in our wing. Tie off our foam. Pull the moose body hair forward. Tie that off. this point we can cut that out no longer needed we'll cut our foam out as well Now we're going to advance our thread forward in front of our wing and then turn the hackle. So we're going to start with the first segment that we tied in, give it one full turn, one or two through the next segment, and then now just stack them right on top of one another as we come forward. One or two turns in front of the wing. Tie that off. is just clean up in details. We'll come under this tail here and trim out our foam. Split the tail like we did in the first pattern. So, you can see the V-notch, wings are still at the Y. Come in with our magic markers. 
We're done. Boondoggle brown drape. 